Ladies and gentlemen, um, all protocols observed, thank you very much for having me here again. Um, access changes attitudes. That's what I've found over this last year. This is true of any civil rights struggle. If you're not at the table, you can't challenge the hateful rhetoric your opponents will relentlessly try to pour into the ears of politicians and policymakers who you try to convince. The David Cato Vision and Voice Award provides this access on a global scale. And as the inaugural winner of the award, I have been able to amplify the message of my organization, AIDS Free World, about the disastrous impact Caribbean homophobia is having on the regional HIV response. As it stands, Jamaica has possibly the world's highest rate of HIV infection among men who have sex with men, 32.9%. But sadly, those charged with addressing the cultural and structural barriers to the life-saving tolerance messaging are more concerned about pandering to fundamentalist religious views than actually saving lives. For this reason, I'm glad that the David Cato Vision and Voice Award allowed me to be selected to deliver speeches at numerous conferences addressing the link between homophobia and HIV. Perhaps the most significant for me was the opportunity to represent the voices of the global MSM community at the launch of the groundbreaking report by the Global Commission on HIV and the Law. I realized that I may have upset a few UN officials when I publicly expressed my concern that the UN is shrinking back from boldly condemning countries that still maintain stigmatizing and discriminatory laws and practices which severely compromise the HIV response. But that is exactly what civil society activists have to do. We must never forget that our constituents are the millions of voiceless individuals who cannot advocate for themselves, either due to lack of access or resources. By providing both an unrestricted discretionary cash prize and vital publicity, the award makes our jobs as activists that much easier. Being an activist is also a lonely business sometimes. Even the groups you are advocating for will turn against you in a, on occasion if they think you are making too many waves in their tranquil seas of complac complacency. Again, this award reminds you that you are not alone, that your contributions, though sometimes controversial, matter, and that most of all, you are not being ignored. In my most trying and lonely moments as an activist, my amazing organization, AIDS Free World, constantly reassured me that I am part of a global movement for social justice. The force and strength of the organization Global Advocacy, which supports and facilitates my views, makes a big difference in its cumulative effect. As a result of their support, I am now confronting the government of Trinidad about its atrocious immigration law, which bans the entry of marginalized groups such as MSM and the disabled. I have many pleasant memories as a result of winning this award, and I hope my successor will experience many more. For example, my mother, a fundamentalist Christian who still struggles with accepting my orientation, and even more so my advocacy, said that being recognized in this way must mean I'm doing something right. <laughs> the award also helped me to partly realize my dream of carrying out police sensitivity training in the Caribbean, along with my husband, Tom Decker, of Metropolitan Community Churches. Most amazing, however, was the tremendous opportunity of being the Grand Marshal at the first Uganda Pride March on August 4, 2012. I felt privileged to represent David and march with my incredibly brave Ugandan brothers and sisters. I really hope this event will be an annual one. So, to, to this year's winner of the award, I say, enjoy this well-deserved recognition of your pioneering and important work. And then boldly use this award as a platform to make the world a better place for LGBTI and all its citizens. 
The team at IPPF, Kevin, Daniel, Alistair, are wonderful at facilitating introductions to world leaders. And be prepared to challenge this, these persons with specific asks. Don't be intimidated. You have earned your right to speak up against LGBT injustices. Do so in the spirit of our dear David, who is no longer with us, but whose legacy continues to inspire through this incredible honor which bears his name. Aluta Continua. Thank you.